Yo, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm gonna know Duelist here, and we are gonna talk about the ban list today. Well, not not we, but uh, you're gonna listen to my ass talk about it. Um, so we're gonna start off with the cards that you can no longer play. Um, if you play these cards in your deck, you are not being fair. Roll oppression. Let's start with that. I thought it was gonna go to two with heavy storm coming back, and if they did do triple MST, you know, you could maybe do to two, and you can just I don't know. It, I don't know. I was thinking to go to two, but I guess it got banned, which gave anti-meta a loss. But I mean, whatever. They still have like triple fossil nine and shit. They don't. They're not gonna care. They're really not. They're probably happier with triple MST heavy storm to get rid of your shit and then set their five and summon their fossil dyna, poke you constantly, and you scoop. So it doesn't. It didn't hurt the bat bad. It probably hurt gravekeepers the most, but that's probably about it. No one else really cared. Black wings. Black wings play depression, but they're not like. Their deck isn't revolved around push, you know, oppression. They're not horny for it, so whatever. That is banned. Uh, Fishboard Blaster. That is hollow. If you want it, it's 15 bucks. You know, I noticed it did the same fucking thing with Rescue Cat. Except Rescue Cat was a lot more predictable. No one even fucking thought this thing was going to get banned. At all. Like, not even a little bit. So, but I'm happy. What? Me for one. Here, okay. That just sounded weird. My grammar. Um, where's my shit? Yeah, that. This deck just got, like, royally fucked. If you try and play this, you should just fucking scoop, because really, Fishborg was the deck. I can't think of any good tuner that they can play in this deck. Alright? Just because it can play the, the plant engine doesn't mean it's good anymore, because usually you'd go this with formula, librarian, get a token, Fishborg effect, you know, Fishborg mate, Oystermeister good. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the truth, alright? So don't even try and play this deck anyway. It's just, it's bad. It's bad. It's like playing S Synchro Cat without Rescue Cat. Like, did you see, did you see, you know, Synchro Cat going around without Rescue Cat? No, you didn't. You didn't. Why would you, you're not going to see this. Like, at all. So just take out your, D well, Dudu Crow's still a good card. Don't listen to me, but, yeah. Mindmaster, um, this was the deck for Psychics. It is a really stupid card. I'm going to, I'm going to have to go out there and say that. Because when Psychic's set up with this guy, they, they fucking go stupid. I know, Yeah, they haven't been top 32. You know, they haven't made any recent tops. But in locals and stuff, the, deck, the card just makes too many combos, you know, to be legal. So get that shit out of here. And Giant Trunade. We're all waiting for that. Everyone wants to see Heavy Storm back. And we did see it back. So that, that's good news, Bears. No one likes Giant Trunade. I don't think it's that good. But people think it's good. If you just main, like, three gores, I mean, you're fine. But, I mean, you know, whatever. If you didn't get the sarcasm in there, you're stupid. Uh, okay, uh, let's go to limited. And now you're probably thinking, oh, dude, Abido, you don't have a BLS. You know, just because I don't have a BLS doesn't mean I'm not going to play it. If you, I'm, I'm playing Chaos next format, or this format. No, next format, because it's not September 1st yet. Anyway, okay, so we're going to go with... What we all wanted to see, we wanted to see plants get fucked. Unfortunately, we don't see a dandelion in here, but they did compensate for bringing this annoying fuck to one, because everyone hated one for one dandy. That that combo, even though it's still around, you can't go double formula, and you can't average your shit back, and you can't debris drag it. You can't. It's gonna be harder for you to open one for one dandy debris because they're all limited. Oh, along with lone fire, which is now limited too. So, they definitely compensated for... Oh, and Librarians at one, and I don't have a Librarian, because I don't, I don't want that shit. I just... I feel like a douche if I have a Librarian, you know? I'm just, I feel like that guy. So, yeah, that's limited. I think we're all happy about that. No one likes Avarice. Draw two. It's basically a pot degree this format. You bring back your fucking three formulas and Debris Dragon on fire and use them again. And it's, it is, it's retarded. Um, Heavy Storm is back, and we are all horny for that. I think we all popped a rod when we heard about it. Because it needed to happen. No one liked fucking D prison, bottomless D prison set first turn. No one liked that shit at all. It was stupid. So now, good players are, well, bad players are still gonna be doing that shit, but it's gonna be good news bears for you. But good players are gonna have like a double warning and bottomless in their hand, or a fiendish chain, or I don't know, some good trap, and they're just gonna set one warning and call it a day, you know? So we're all happy about that. Uh, one smoke signal. I think my brother's outside. Anyway, who the fuck's calling me? God damn it. Um, so smoke signal is at one. I thought United would go. What's the video link? I thought United was gonna go to one, 
but I guess this slows out the search engine, so you can't find, you can't do the like. United is now more dead with only a Rota and Smoke Signal, if that makes sense. And Dojo, but no one gives a shit about that. Anyway, let's go to Semi Limited. Dragodia, Minecraft, and Call are all at one or dot two. So that's good news, Bears. Um, I didn't expect to see that. I'm gonna see some noob with Jinzo. What's he called? Jinzo TK? I don't know. Jinzo shit. Jinzo Returner. Something like that. And you're gonna be like, attack, you'll deep prison, you'll chain call, get Jinzo, and it's just, it's gonna be pretty silly. But, I don't mind the card, it's not gonna be a game changer, it's gonna annoy me, chaining it to Sangin. But, what are you gonna do? Uh, Minecraft at 2, I'm actually happy about that. You hardly see it side decked anymore, but... Now that it's a two, because you always draw it at a bad time, you know, if you just side decked one, you draw it late game when you need a top deck, and it's just, it's stupid. So, two's a lot better. It's more consistent to side. Fucking phone. Uh, Dragodia, I am not happy about that. I fucking hate cards where you attack, and you have to gore. I mean, yeah, okay. Gore, I don't like gores and Dragodia, I just don't like that shit. I like it when you attack, and you're totally fine. Of course, smart players get rewarded for gores, because they play gores right, and they avoid gores right. But... I just don't like it because I'm a bad player. Necrogarnat 2, that gave Lightstones a boost. I'm proud of it. I didn't think it had to be. I don't even I I don't even know why it was a one. I mean yeah, you had to hit Lightstones, but Necrogarna? What it fucking recharges at three, but Necrogarna at one? Like come on, really? Just cause you can do JD and triple Necrogarna in your grave. Yeah, that's a bitch, but like that's because Dark Hole wasn't out that format, I don't think. Anyway, I'm glad it went to two. It's not even playable, but like it gets fucked over by Necker Valley, so, I mean, it's, really, it's good, I mean, it's it's good. Summoner Monk, I think they're trying to lean towards more Exceed Summon cards that could go Exceed a lot quicker, try and give it a boost, which I think Exceeds are already good enough, they don't need to give it more shit, with fucking Rescue Rabbit coming out. Um, I don't even think Scraps are going to play too, don't quote me on that, because I'm not a fortune teller. Triple MS, and if I miss any cards... Just get off my dick because I'm too lazy to find every single card, okay? So, yeah, there's the end of that. I just had to throw that out there. Triple MST, even though there's two on the playmat, that two is what you're looking at, it's at three, okay? So, don't, don't, don't troll on me here, alright? Don't troll on me. It's at three. I think I'm happy about it. I'm probably gonna be play playing Triple Starlight Road like a bitch because, think about it, worst case scenario, they're gonna be like, MS2 your Starlight. I'm like, alright, whatever. I have two more set. And they're like, oh, okay. I hit Starlight. Now I'll have you Storm. I'd be like, bitch, jump on my Wiena. That's really very unlikely of happening. But anyway. Um, Triple Icarus also makes Starlight Road more playable. I know I'm going to be playing it. Oppression gone. They can't oppress your Starlight. So, Starlight Road's a good card. If only, you know, Chaos and, you know, Chaos Emperor Dragon was back, you know, Starlight Road would be even better. Um, no, don't, don't do that. Um,. What was I saying? Oh yeah, that gave Black Mesa a boost. They were they barely topped 32 anymore. Really, not many tops with Black Wings. They just hit them too hard last ban list. So bringing Icarus to three is a small push and a pretty pretty good push. And I'm I'm happy about it. But I ain't gonna be playing that Black Wings. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. Um, what are you guys looking at? Okay, I am gonna be playing Chaos next format. I think because I'm a boss. With BLS coming out, I mean, how can you not? How can you summon a Black Lesser Soldier and not just cream? You know, it's it's. I love the cards. I love the cards. Fucking awesome. You can just attack over starters and attack for another three thousand. It's not a big deal. I forgot its other effect. Oh fuck! You can remove a face down. It's fucking broken. Anyway, so yeah, chaos is gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna be playing this probably with the D Hero engine. I am not sure because you have two D draw, which makes Mali not so shitty. Don't know why Mali's at two, but Tengu's at three. I know it's an exclusive, but that is fucking stupid, because Tengu is like three times better. Anyway, like I said, Light Swan's got a push. JD's also at three. If I didn't mention that, just because I don't have one doesn't mean it didn't happen. So if you're going to be playing Light Swan, <laughs> good news bears for you. Oh, and I just got mind fucked during my last take of this video where Trishla is not limited. Unless I'm totally not thinking. Okay, I think it is limited. I don't remember. Anyway, and then, like I said, Black has got to push. I'm going to stop talking. Like if you liked. Dislike if you hate me.